Hi, it's Phil from Inclusive Music and in this video we're going to look how to collaborate with other people, other teachers, other students in BandLab. In this particular version I'm going to use BandLab for education but this will work just as well in the public version of BandLab. Let's go! So I've recorded or put together a Latin house tune of just 16 bars and uh, built it up like an introduction. And what I want to do is share it with my students or other collaborators. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is save it. And that's saved. So now I'm going to go to the library and I can see there it is. I might just add by renaming that it's originally in G minor. Now to exit my library, I'm going to go up to Band Lab for Education here, one click and it takes me to my schools and I'm in Hampton Roads chamber players at the moment so I want to set a new assignment start here that's the name of the class and create a new assignment let's call it improvise over a backing track I could say this is where you Record your violin, let's say, over a backing track to improve your improvising skills. OK. Now, this is where I attach that Latin house track. I'm going to go to the library and I can see that this is the Latin House 16 bars, which I just recorded. So click on that and attach to the assignment. I can now decide which student group has access to this assignment and can play together to foster collaborative learning, assign your students to pairs or groups. So create student group. So we'll have a uh, student me. I'll add one more student and then publish the assignment. So this is me as a student, Felix, and I'm in Hampton Road Chamber Players, and I'm going to go to start here. Here I can see the new assignment, improvise over a backing track, and as a student I want to start the assignment. Click on there, and click on teacher assignment. So there is what my teacher set me, and the idea is for me to play over here. So I've listened to the track, I've practiced with it, and now I'm going to record my improvising over it. Up to the red recording circle. And here we go. My recording, Latin House Bass 5, I think we should change that to the instrument I was playing and have a quick listen. I'm going to save that, make sure I don't submit it but save and that's done solution updated so now I'm going to go back to my teacher avatar and see how the teacher can now see what the student has recorded now what I need to do as a teacher 
is go to the assignment here, go down to the assigned to three students and click there and I can see that two students have been assigned it, they haven't done anything yet but this one which is my student avatar Felix has this in progress so I'm going to click on there and now if I hover over there I can open in the mix editor and see what my student has done. Okay, that looks fantastic. There's the instrument they've played it on and here is a recording, so to listen to this. Okay, great. Now, as a collaborator, as part of this process, as a teacher, I might want to improvise too. So what I'm gonna do is add a new track choosing the voice mic option. Could actually sing over this or talk over this. You can see I've got my microphone, uh, but I'm gonna choose for this example to play another instrument via my iPad. So I've had a listen to my students recording and I like that. And I've decided I will add some guitar at bar nine. So I've set my track here to bar nine. So it'll play from there and I've set up my guitar on the iPad and I can see that's coming through nicely so all I need to do is press the record button and improvise over it there's the recording and let's have a listen It's not perfect, but that's okay. And I'll rename that so I know exactly what I'm doing. Teacher Guitar. And save the draft. Solution updated. Now, once again, I'm going to go back to the student and record again. So here I am as the student. And as you can see, my teacher track on the guitar hasn't yet appeared. So I'm going to go up to my browser and reload the page, we'll refresh it. And now you can see the guitar and I've renamed it teacher guitar so we're very clear. So there it is. And I can listen to that. let's say as a collaborator or, or a student now I'm going to add something else so add a track voice mic and if I go to this uh, icon here I can use my microphone to pick up a traditional instrument or what I have been doing because it's easier and the better quality at the moment is to go to the iPad let's find a different instrument this time I am going to mute the, my first track as a student and my teacher's track and concentrate on doing 16 bars of my new instrument, the pipa. So I'm ready to record, press the red circle. So I'm going to rewind and have a listen. It's a bit loud. So take the volume down. Okay. 
Okay, it's important to name the track, so I'm going to call it uh, Student and the instrument's the pipa. Okay, and now save but not submit. So let's just do this one more time, and I'm going to go back to my teacher avatar. So I'm back in as the teacher. And as you can see, the student's peeper track isn't yet showing up. But all I need to do is refresh the browser, reload this page, one click. And as you can see, my student has just added this track here, which I can obviously listen to. Great. So one more track then. I'm going to mute that. And this time, for interest's sake, let's add an instrument. Add track, and I'm going to go for a MIDI instrument within BandLab itself. So, so my piano has come up. Let's click on there, and we can move it around a bit, so we can see it a little bit more easily. At the moment, it's got. I'm going to play it with the mouse, or I could play it with the QWERTY keyboard ZX CV. Or the mouse but this is gonna be quite difficult to play in key so band lab have come up with something that we can that can help us do this so I'm going to go here and I know that the key is in G and it's in the minor scale so G minor and you notice the keyboard now changes to certain notes that are within the scale Let's go up a few octaves. And let's just improvise a little bit with the mouse, getting the hang of this, because this is a strange way to play an instrument, but that's what technology is all about. So uh, let's play. Rewind. Let's rewind and record. Here we go. And stop. This time it looks a bit different because what we've actually recorded is not an audio waveform with a microphone but a MIDI file uh, with the inbuilt keyboards and we've got hundreds of sounds to choose from. Let's have a quick listen. That's good enough. So I'm going to rename that teacher instrument um, there was the piano teacher piano and save the draft there we go so once more just to have a look at what the student sees let's go back to the student screen so here I am at the student screen and uh, the piano is not in yet so all we need to do is go to refresh or reload the page And we can now see what the teacher played. And the beauty of it is that both the student and the teacher can edit the changes. So, for example, 
that was the teacher played that piano. If I double click on that, I can actually look at the MIDI notes. and change them, which means I can uh, change a student's mistakes or look at exactly how they played and then get back to them and suggest improvements. So when the student thinks, okay, I have now completed that assignment, improvising over a backing track, all I need to do is go to the save button and then submit. I could add a description here. So um, I enjoyed improvising with my teacher and feel I created some interesting tracks. Submit. Okay, so final thing is to see what the teacher sees. So once again, I'm going back to the teacher. So here's where the teacher left off and I'm going to go to exit. So I'm back in my teacher mode and looking at the classroom. So let's go into the assignments and I see down here there's a green circle and it's got one solution that needs to be graded. So let's click on that and I see that Felix here has submitted his assignment. So click on that and I'm going to open it in Mix Editor. So there's a completed assignment and the students played the uh who and the peeper. I've listened to that and so now all I need to do now is go up to here in the right hand corner and grade. So I think that was a B and let's leave some feedback. Great performance, Felix. I loved the Erhu, if that's the right way to say it, Erhu. Particularly, make sure I spell right as a teacher. Now, I want you to play with greater attention to dynamics. Good job. Okay, submit. So that goes back to the student, Felix, and I can see here the grade that was given them. And I can also see the comment. Great performance, Felix. I love the Erhu particularly. Now I want you to play with greater attention to dynamics. Good hob. Oops. Oh, well. Teachers are fallible too. Let's just have one more look at what Felix the student sees. So here I am as the student, there's my avatar, and I've just been working on improvise over a backing track. So I'm going to view the assignment, and I notice I've got a B. And there's the comment from my teacher. Great performance. Love the Eho particularly. Now I want you to play with greater attention to dynamics. Good hob. Mm. So I hope that's been useful as a way that teachers can uh, work with their students or students can work with each other to collaborate on a project, passing it back and forth until they're happy with it. And this is not just something you can do in a small group, this can be a massive group, this can be with a class across the world or an individual across the world, uh, collaborating via the teacher in a group to work together. Really exciting possibilities in BandLab to do that. Hope you've enjoyed that and look forward to seeing you on the next video.